New movement on the COVID vaccine front and new changes when it comes to COVID-19 in San Antonio. An FDA advisory panel supports vaccines for children as young as six months old. So now the FDA is expected to authorize emergency use for the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, and then the CDC would vote. That's expected to happen on Saturday. Now here in San Antonio, Metro Health says that our risk level is actually worsening. We're now in the medium category. The night team's Lee Waldman spoke with health leaders on where we stand 18 months since the vaccines were first introduced to our community. For weeks, the COVID-19 risk dial on Metro Health's website has remained steady at low until now. We don't notice it as much because a lot fewer people are in the hospital. The cases, I mean, we're at now at a level where it's around 500 a day the last time I checked. Dr. Junda Wu, the local health authority for the city, says the low hospitalizations are a good sign. The vaccines are doing their job in keeping people who are infected less sick. Since they rolled out December 15th, 2020, almost 72% of the population is vaccinated. 39% of eligible people are boosted. When you look at it by age group, the lowest percentage of people boosted is among younger people. Children are falling behind when it comes to vaccinations. Dr. Mandy Tibble Svatek with University Health says it's important parents protect their kids from severe cases of COVID, as well as residual effects like multi-system inflammatory syndrome, also known as MIS-C. Those that have been vaccinated Really, the number of MIS-C cases is extremely low in comparison to those children that have not been vaccinated. Both Dr. Wu and Dr. Svatek agree the FDA giving the thumbs up to the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines for kids six months to five years old would be an important step in fighting the spread of COVID-19. In our community, there's mixed reaction when it comes to vaccinating our youngest. I think if it's FDA approved, I mean, it's okay. For the parents that wanted to get their kids vaccinated, yeah. I think that's a good idea for them, but I mean, personally, I wouldn't. I, I, I don't like it. The White House says vaccines should be ready to roll out as soon as next week. Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News. So if you still need a vaccine, there is a pop-up clinic happening tomorrow evening. It's inside the Heat Nightclub on Main Avenue. That's going to happen from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Metro Health says that this is going to be part of its Take Pride in Your Health celebration.